Sutra. At that time, the world honored one set to the Bodhisattva universally expansive, and to all those in the fourfold assembly. Listen attentively, listen attentively. I will briefly describe to you how Earth Star Bodhisattva's virtuous deeds keep benefiting people and gods. Commentary. At that time, the world honored one said to the Bodhisattva universally expansive and to all those in the fourfold assembly of bhikshus, bhikshunis, upasakas, upasikas, and others such as the eightfold division of gods, dragons, and others. Listen attentively, listen attentively, think it over carefully and listen, pay attention, do not be casual but listen especially attentively. I will briefly describe to you how Earth Star Bodhisattvas virtuous deeds keep benefiting people and gods. I will now briefly describe Earth Star Bodhisattva for all of you in the Great Assembly about the blessed and virtuous deeds he does to help humans and celestial beings. What are blessed and virtuous deeds? According to one article called Great Standards in the Book of History that contains nine sections that explains five types of blessing. The first type, the first type of blessing is called blessings and longevity. What are blessings? Blessings means being very much at ease with everything. Longevity means a long life and not a short life. One is shown upon the stars of blessings, prosperity and longevity. Blessings are natural so that you are very much at ease. Prosperity could be one's monthly income from being a government official. Lot longevity or sun of the South Pole in China is most bold and wears a long white beard. He said to he is said to be the immortal man, a uh, man of the South Pole in Taoism. His dad contains three volumes of celestial texts, so he knows everything. He is the elderly prosperity star. The second tie. A blessing is affluence and nobility. The third type refers to a healthy and safe body. The fourth type means enjoying cultivating virtues and doing good deeds. With this type of blessings, one is willing to do what is virtuous. The fifth type of blessing is a peaceful passing. There are also five kinds of virtues. Mild, mannered, kind, respectful, frugal, and yielding. Who has these five kinds of virtues? Confuses. What are the five? The first is mild mannered, neither too cold nor too hot. Too cold, one is like the silent and stoic Lord God in all the time. The second virtue is kindness. The third type is a virtue is respect, always respectful toward others without slighting others. The fourth type is through uh, free goity and simplicity. One does not waste any material resources. For example, one usually eats five bowls of rice but reduces one's intake to three bowls, leaving the other two bowls for those who are starving. One maintains a simple lifestyle. One serves oneself for a simple and restricted diet. One treats guests without letting the meal linger on. We must try to save on what we use, what we wear, what we eat, what we live in so that none of it is excessive. The most important thing is frivolity. The fifth type of virtue is yielding. Do not rush forward to fight for anything. Yield means letting other people be number one. Let other people enjoy the good things and pick up bad things ourselves. This is yielding. Politely yield. These are the five virtues. Speaking of yielding, Kong Kung Rung, at the age of four, knew to yield his pair. Kung Rung was someone before the Three Kingdoms period in China. He was in a real high political office. When he was four years old, 
some guests brought a gift basket made out of bamboo, a pair, a pair for his family. The owners told him to get a pair, and what does he do? He picks the smallest one. The guests ask, "Why don't you pick a big one? Why don't you pick such a small pair for yourself?" He said, "I am the youngest. I should eat a small one. My elder brothers are older than I am, so they should eat the big ones." He yielded the bigger pairs for his brothers and took the smallest one for himself. Later, he reached a very high office. During the Han Dynasty, Huang Xiang, at the age of nine, knew to warm his parents' bed. Every night at bedtime, he would go and sleep on his parents' bed so that it is warm before he goes to sleep on his own bed. He shows his filiality by warming up the bed, which is a type of virtuous conduct. The five virtues are about being mild-mannered, kind, respectful, frugal, and yielding. Sutra, universally expansive, replied, "Excellent, world honored one. We will be happy to listen." The Buddha told the Bodhisattva, "Universally expansive." If in the future good men or women, upon hearing Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva's name, place their palms together, praise him, bow bow to him, or gaze at him in worship, they will overcome thirty ends worth of offenses. Universally expansive. If good men or women gaze upon and bow but once. To painted or drawn images of the Bodhisattva, or images made of clay, stone, lacquer, gold, silver, or bronze, they will be reborn one hundred times in the heaven of the thirty-three, and will eternally avoid falling into the evil destinies. If their blessings in the heavens come to an end, and they are born in the human realm, they will become national leaders. Who will suffer no loss of benefit? There may be women who dislike having female bodies. Suppose they wholeheartedly make offerings to images of Earth Star Bodhisattva, such as paintings or images made of clay, stone, lacquer, brass, iron, or other materials. If they continually make offerings day after day without fail of flowers, incense, food, drink, clothing, colored silks, banners, money, jewels, and other items, then when those good men will, or those good women finish their current female retributions, throughout thousands of millions of ants, they will never again be born in worlds where there are women, much less be one. Unless they choose to, through the strength of their compassionate vows, in order to liberate beings, based on the strength of their offerings to Earth Star Bodhisattva and the power of their meritorious virtues, they will not be born with female bodies for hundreds of thousands of eons. Commentary: Universally expansive Bodhisattva replied, "Excellent." Won't honor one. We will be happy to listen. The Buddha told the Bodhisattva, universally expansive, if in the future good men or women who received the five precepts and practiced the ten good deeds, upon hearing Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva's name, place their palms together when they see an image of Earth Star Bodhisattva, praise him, saying that. Earth Star Bodhisattva is the real great Bodhisattva, who is truly compassionate, uses his spiritual powers in wonderful ways. He is really incredible. All they bow to him or gaze at him in worship. They may not wish to leave the image of Earth Star Bodhisattva that they see. They stay in place to look, forgetting to eat or anything else. It is similar to someone being. Infatuated with something and forgets everything else, they will overcome thirty ends worth of offenses. Universally expensive, if good men or women who received the five precepts and practiced the ten good deeds 
gaze upon and bow but once to painted or drawn images of the Bodhisattva earth star, or images made of clay, stone, lacquer, gold, silver, or bronze, they will be reborn 100 times in the heaven of the 33 and will eternally avoid falling into the evil destinies. With the merit of bowing to earth star Bodhisattva, they will never fall into the evil destinies. If their blessings in the heavens come to an end and they are born in the human realm, they will become national leaders who will suffer no loss of such major benefits. People who are kings now bowed to earth star Bodhisattva before, presidents of nations had some merit from the past too. There may be women who dislike having female bodies. Do not be satisfied with having a female body because the female body is full of trouble. First, guest-like objects come, and host-like objects come a few days later. Isn't that so much trouble? Women may cry for no reason, all of a sudden, smile for no reason, all of a sudden, get angry for no reason, all of a sudden, and then become distressed for no reason, all of a sudden. Isn't that so much trouble? Why is a female body so troublesome? I'm not saying this to make you hate the female body so that you will live the householder's life and become a bishu or bishuni. The female body is really so much trouble that is why some women do not want to be women. Why be a woman? Let us study this. It is because female habits such as envy, obstructionism, greed for petty gain, and vanity, etc. are so ingrained. They become women in future lives as a result. However, if you were to respect Earth Star Bodhisattva, then all these problems dissolve. If you do not resolve these issues, then women's five obstru obstructive tendencies and ten evils are no fun. What are the female's five obstructive tendencies? The first obstruction is that women cannot become a great Brahma heaven king in this lifetime. Why? Great Brahma heaven kings become accomplished in their cultivation through pure conduct. The female body is mostly impure, so they cannot become great Brahman heaven kings. The second obstruction, women cannot become Lord Chakra, the Lord of the heavens. You wonder, didn't a woman become a Lord of the 33 heavens? Actually, she went from a woman to a man. Lord Chakra does not have very much desire. Women tend to have more lust, so they cannot become gods. The third obstruction for women is that they cannot become demon kings, which is best. The reason for this is that demon kings are tough and firm, while women are very weak. Sometimes they cannot take care of themselves so that when certain things happen, they have to look for help. The fourth obstruction for women is that women cannot be real turning sage kings. They are gold wheel sage kings, silver wheel sage kings iron wheel sage kings and copper wheel sage kings. Why cannot one become a wheel sage king in the body of a woman? It is became wheel turning sage kings are most compassionate and kind. They teach people to practice the five precepts and the ten good deeds. Women tend to be less compassionate and more envious. Consequently, they cannot become wheel turning sage kings. The fifth obstruction for women is that they cannot become Buddhas. Since the body of Buddhas comes with the moderate virtues while the female body is full of evil such as jealousy, obstructive tendencies, and pettiness, a heart of size of sisame. This is why women in their bodies cannot become Buddhas. All the women experience these five obstructions. They can be free of jealousy, lust, and weakness, all the evils and tainted thoughts, then there is still hope, still hope for women to turn into men. Shariputra, for example, said that 
dragon girl cannot become a Buddha, so she took here her favorite pearl that she cannot possibly give up and gave it to the Buddha. The Buddha accepted the pearl, she explained. I can become a Buddha now. The Buddha accepted the pearl I offered him. Is, is this fast? Shariputra responded, it is very fast, she said. The speed at which I become a Buddha is as fast as the speed at which I offer this pearl to the Buddha. After saying this, she became a Buddha immediately indeed. Women should not give up on themselves and lose hope because of these five obstructions. They should only be afraid that they are not bold enough in their resolves. Were they to bring forth their resolves boldly, they can become Buddhas too. For instance, the dragon girl offered her favorite pearl and became a Buddha immediately. Now, let me briefly explain women's ten evils. I will not explain them in too much detail because of the time constraint. The first evil is that parents are unhappy that the newborn is a female. They would be happy if the baby were a male. Although not all parents are like this, most countries share the same attitude of favoring males over females. Girls leave a poor impression on their parents as soon as they are born. The second is that parents are not so interested in raising daughters. The third is that women are often afraid and shy. Conversely, men are not afraid of being embarrassed. The fourth is that parents worry about their daughter's marriage. Americans are different though. They do not care. You do whatever you want. The trends in countries such as China, for example, are that Chinese parents worry about what kind of husband their daughter will have. The fifth is that daughters will definitely leave their parents. The sixth is that women are afraid of their husbands. They are very cautious about their husband's emotions. A wife is happy if her, if her husband is happy. A wife trembles in fear if her husband gets angry. The seventh is that giving birth is difficult and scary. The eighth is that people will blame and criticize a girl's parents for her meanness and debauchery. If a daughter does fine, okay, but if she goes awry, then her parents are affected. The ninth is that a woman's husband may order her about and restrain her with many rules. If she does not observe such rules, he may divorce her. Is that the hustle? This is when she is young. When she is older, she faces the tenth evil of being slighted by her children and grandchildren. Her offspring may think, why does she not die? She is already so old. At that stage, even her children yell at her. Isn't that sad? So women are replete with trouble. They are both other ten kinds of evils. There are actually twenty more, but we cannot finish telling them.